All right, boys. Welcome back to another video. In my in my previous video, I spoke a little bit about song structures. Uh, in this video, we'll be looking into mixing two songs and uh, how I read the music and how you should also probably read your music and how you can best DJ from one song to another song. Uh, it can be anywhere in clubs, parties, or for even for yourself or you know whatever it's going to be. We're just starting with this song. It's called No Dignity, and I'm pretty sure whatever songs I'm going to be showing you guys, I'm going to get a copyright. So. Yeah. Get go with it. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah. So this is two phrases of intro. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. And if you don't know what a phrase is or how much the phrase is, you can just just check the description. I've written it down. So eight bars is one phrase. Okay. So eight bars of intro, and then it goes into break. Like we spoke in the last uh, video, uh, we have a break section after the intro. And yeah. And it goes on, goes on, and then your build up comes in. And then your first drop is here. I think it is for two phrases. Looks like two phrases, but okay. And then the second break. And then again the second build up. Then the drop. Hmm. I think this is three phrases. Yeah, this is three phrases of drop. And then it goes into outro. Kind of like a pre-outro, not entirely an outro because it has a little bit of energy left in it. So kind of you're like a pre-outro and uh, complete outro. Now let's listen to this one. I like this one too. This is how we do it. Okay, so it has three phrases of intro because the lyrics didn't yet start. And now, yeah, three phrases of intro and the build up, break and the build up and the drop. And so this is four phrases of drop. First drop is four. First drop. Okay, let's make this volume a little bit, I guess. Yeah, first drop is four phrases and then the break. Then, 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 then we go into drop, two phrases, three phrases, four phrases, uh, pre outro, and then one phrase of outro. So, technically, two phrases of outro. But all right. So, we're just going to mix these two songs again. Uh, how to mix it is very simple. We'll just start from our first song. So, usually, uh, how we do it is we start the next song with the drop section of the song and then we transition it when the drop is finishing uh, so that when the second section of the song is about to come or the next section whatever next section is about to come we are going to transition it at that point without clashing the vocals okay i'm just checking the frame right here This is where generally everyone mixes in, like they start from your first drop. But if you have seen any of our previous videos, I do it very more creatively. I use hot cues, I jump from my first drop to the second drop. So, and then we do the beat matching, and cutting the cue, cutting the bass. Now, if you remember what we saw before, it has three phrases of drop, three phrases of intro. So, it's going to be very smooth. Okay, I think this is four phrases. I might have to use beat jump, I guess. Yeah, looks like it, but okay. I'm going to go back 8 bars B jumps us back to 8 bars behind And now Now 
this song takes over from here, we pull down the other song, we load the next song. Again jumping to the second drop. Even if you forgot to set the tempo, after you press play. Yeah, even if you forgot to set your tempo, you can after you press play you can set the tempo. And then quickly readjust it. Oh, we forgot. This is again, um, what do you call it? Four phases, so shouldn't have to start it. going into this song so as you can see there's a continuous flow in the music right there's not such any section where we feel like we are messing it somewhere because uh, we have a good understanding of phrases what does phrases mean and uh, how do you can use your phrases to your advantage so, okay, that part was a little fucked up, but okay. Uh, all right, so uh, what we understood from the past uh, when we heard the song was, uh, what I understood at least was, this was four phrases of a drop and then a pre outro ish and then a uh, last phrase of an outro. So, and uh, if, I re if I remember the song right, and if I, uh, if I can see the waveform itself, I know that uh, the 16 bars of a, what do you call, you have an intro and then the break comes in, but break comes in again like your, uh, in the previous video which I discussed, it comes in with the beats of the song. So as in, you have the intro going on, the same beats are continued with the break section, which is where the lyrics come in usually. Right? Technically, he's supposed to cut the kick and then, you know, do this. Uh, but what he did was he continued the same drum rhythm which was going over here into the break of the song and then he continued into this and then he went to the yeah, and then he went to the build up directly yeah. so yeah just a creative uh, version of remix all right so without any further ado this is how you mix your music and uh, yes this kind of music is very easy to mix to be honest because i mean if you have an understanding of phrases it's easy it's called uh, house music so yeah all right, so uh, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, and if you guys like this video, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about DJing, you can always join our online classes. Or if you're in Hyderabad, you can join our, on off our offline classes. And if you have any questions regarding DJing, you can just comment down below. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I uh, hope you all have a nice day ahead or nice weekend ahead or nice month ahead and keep practicing keep practicing and keep practicing all right see you in the next video boys and girls take care